Hi, I'm AJ Pierce, and I'm going to read an extract from my debut novel, Dear Mrs. Bird, which I'm thrilled to say has been chosen as part of the Eason Sinead and Drake Must Reads summer selection. Uh, this part of the book is where our heroine, Emmeline, has joined a failing women's magazine and has just been given a long list of things that her boss, Mrs. Bird, will not respond to on the problem page. I turned back to the sheet with unladylike enthusiasm. I was not the sort that runs with a fast crowd, but having a list of racy elements to avoid did sound rather good fun. Words and phrases that will not be published or responded to by Mrs. Bird. For further references, see Girlhood to Wife, Practical Advice by a Doctor, 1921. A to C, Affair, Amorous, Ardent, Bed, Bedroom, bed jacket, Berlin, the list went on for pages. Based on Mrs. Bird's idea of degeneracy, Sodom and Gomorrah would not lose much sleep. Naturally, before you were married, going too far was off the menu. Getting carried away was strictly not on, and if you got into trouble, it was nobody's fault but your own. In fact, if you veered towards relationships in even the most innocent way, you would have to simmer right down again, because Mrs. Bird, here to answer your worries, was highly unlikely to write back. As more letters failed to meet the standards of Mrs. Bird's list, I started to read them to Kathleen in the hope she might be of some help. Dear Mrs. Bird, I am going to marry my fiancé when he comes home on leave from the army. Kathleen looked encouragingly upbeat, but I feel I am rather ignorant about married life. Married life is in capitals, I said, as Kathleen looked into space in a ferocious manner, which must have been her thinking face. I'm pretty certain married life is a no, she said. Most specifically the intimate side, I added helpfully. Oh dear me, no, gasped Kathleen, glancing at the door as if Mrs. Bird might be about to crash through in a terrible rage. Intimate won't do at all. She lowered her voice. Mrs. Bird says that she didn't have to answer that sort of horridness in 1911, and she has no intention of doing so now. Kathleen reported it with such sincerity that I couldn't bring myself to argue. I tried another one, unfolding a letter written in an elegant hand and headed lacklustre relations from a nice lady who referred to herself only as disappointed from the northeast. Disappointed was married to a good man, but he was showing very little interest in getting the hang of things after lights out. The letter was written in a delicate way, so I thought we were in with a chance. No, of course not, said Kathleen fiddling with a strand of hair as it abandoned ship from an inadequate bun. It says relations. Mrs. Bird doesn't like relations. But they're married, I argued. That's not the point. And he's not showing an interest. Emmeline. Which can't be much fun. Now hold on, said Kathleen. You're not supposed to read the details. You should have stopped after the third line. I did, I lied. Are you sure? Well, all right then, perhaps a bit later. But it sounds rotten. They've been married a year and she hasn't seen him without his pyjamas.